how to test if you have a ballast or non-ballast coil. I've got two coils here, completely naked. Not me, the coils. And I haven't got a clue which one is for a ballasted system or a non-ballast system. And the easy way to tell is put your voltmeter onto ohms for resistance and measure across the primary windings, which is just these two little sticks. And you can see this one's got a resistance of three. If we go on to this one, oh, I slipped. We've got a resistance of 1.3. Now, that means this is a ballast coil for um, cars with points condenser. They normally have a ballast resistor in the system. I say normally, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But if it has got a ballast resistor in the system, you need the ballast coil because this is measuring about one, oh God, my meters were over, 1.3, and the ballast resistor in the car's wiring will be about one and a half as well, which will then equal three. So you would use this black one here for non-ballast systems. So this is designed to get the straight 12 volts going to it, whereas this one's designed just to get about nine volts going to it. Thanks for watching.